Michael Neal, and I'm from Berkeley, California, 24 years old. When I first started racing, I was like 19 years old. It was worth doing it just for the free trips that I got out of. You had hours and hours of riding out in the country, and it's, and it's really pretty nice. But that gets old after a few years as well, having to go out in all types of weather. But initially, I just... It's, it's exciting to race. If I could start racing the professionals next year, I'm sure it would be like starting to race all over again. It would be really exciting. I train for a race like the national championships or the Olympic selection races, usually by riding about from three to five hours every day, depending on the race schedule during the week. And usually I start out the first hour or two pretty slow, depending on the roads maybe do some sprints behind trucks. I usually ride about 85 miles, about four and a half hours. But if I have only one race every Sunday, then I'll ride four or 500 miles for the week. When I first started riding, I had hopes of being a professional rider in Europe. And I've spent two years as an amateur in Europe and I still have a chance of making a professional team. As far as amateur racing in the U.S., I can't see any reason to ride anymore. I've ridden five, five years, almost six racing seasons here. And since there is no professional class, and there's really nowhere to go further than uh, the national team, and riding the Olympics, you really, uh, there's no justifiable reason for really racing past the age of, say, you know, 25, 26, because you won't be making any money, and you won't really be doing anything other than enjoying good health. Oh, after the Olympics, I'm going to stop racing, uh, depending on whether or not I get on this Italian professional team. My goal would be to finish in the top 20 in the Olympic road race, you know, preferably the top 10, but uh, just to make a good showing and finish the race. Close ratio, 13. You want water? 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 Water. Ivanka. Michael Nail, Michael Nail, right in the end of Italy. Michael Nail is far away. Four laps to go. Ale! Ale! to Milwaukee again, and for the second time, I present you with this emblem of the Senior Road Championship. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Mike Neal is our team captain. He has helped an awful lot with our team, and 
He's helped me out too. He taught me a few things about racing that I don't think comes easy for the person who decides to hit it out on their own. One thing I learned from Michael is that you can train forever and be in an excellent state of health, but you will never be able to race if you don't have the spirit, the competitive spirit, that aggressive attitude necessary for racing, and mainly that yearning for racing. I ride my bike every day in the winter, and I probably ride only the bare minimum, but I do so, I do that on purpose. I ride my bike in the winter time, not really so that I be riding as little as I can, but that I can get enough riding in without suffering from exposure, the elements, and traffic. I've been hit quite a few times just this past winter. And why do I ride in the snow and the ice and 20 degrees below? A lot of people ask me that. I hate the Chicago Transit Authority. I don't like the paranoia on the buses. I like the idea of beating taxis to stop lights. Riding to work, and riding and playing in the traffic, you can look at it as sort of a facet in, in training altogether, but I have a preference for training, and I, I prefer training out of the city. The air is pretty bad. It's not really safe. No matter how much I, I like to think I, I play with traffic, it's sort of a name to say that I do play with the traffic. I guess it would be more proper to say that I roll along with the traffic. You can say I, I get in a couple sprints and learn how to maneuver my bike between cars. And, but it's something that if I had my choice, I'd rather be out in the country, away from the city. I just happen to live in the city. I used to always sort of like pretend that I was on some sort of Grand Prix circuit uh, riding through Lincoln Park here in Chicago, using the sidewalks as racetrack, I'd sort of like uh, maneuver around the park, cut the corners really sharp, and in general, go really fast. Go, come on. While you're in a race, it demands total concentration. You don't have any time to just let your mind wander, because it could mean, as in the Aurora race, going through a turn too fast not noticing the gravel along the curb. Just that lack of concentration was a fall. And it counted. Counted enough that I was uh, dropped. You guys all went the wrong way. Yeah. You guys went too far. We told us to go to the airport. Yeah, we, we went to the airport. airport. There. No, that's a farm. That's not that's an airport. That's a farm. The airport's all that's the way down. That's just the down. farmer's hangar yeah. for the airport. The airport. There's an airplane there. No. Oh. <laughs> There's a plane sitting right on the side of the road there. Yeah, that's the one we turned at first time. The long right. one. What can you do when, when you know, well, I, there's some I good riders in the back and went the other way, you know? We're going to restart the race in the Maiza County. I don't care if you don't want to discuss it. You want to ride? You go in. You don't want to ride? You can go home. What happened? Some guys got lost. That's right. Which turn you fall on? Huh? Which turn? No no turn. This? This is straight away. You fell yeah, right see, over? It was easy going, you know? Yeah. And it was going at a nice clip. And all of a sudden, you know, when I brought the water bottle to my mouth, uh, I bumped the wheel and it was done. After I fell off the bike, well, I just wanted to get back on my bike and catch up with the rest of the pack. That uh, proved to be futile. Does it burn? I chased the pack for a couple laps, but I was pretty, pretty bad off. I was bruised up pretty well. 
so, uh, I guess it's just one of those things, you know. I learned my mistake. That one is never going to catch Speedy. Oh, no way. <laughs> I'd like to view myself and my performance last year as a Category 3 rider. kind of like to look that I was a happy-go-lucky tourist that got involved in cycling rather haphazardly. It was with good intentions from my friends, in fact, that I got involved in cycling because pretending came only so far. I was 20, 21, and I was still pretending I was in a race. So it was good that my friends channeled me into that, into racing. I have a goal. I have a goal to make the nationals and hopefully take a national title. Uh, I guess at this stage it seems more like a dream, but uh, I gotta shoot for something, and uh, I feel that's a a very good plateau to achieve.